Hi everybody, it's Fabio, and as some of you know, I love Halloween. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite time of year, my favorite holiday. Halloween is the best. I love getting dressed up. I love coming up with cool costumes. So I decided to start this segment to teach you how to do some cool special effects makeup. So we're gonna be doing different things. Today we're gonna work on an old age makeup. I'm gonna make myself look really old, you're welcome to try it at home. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then, you know, depending on what you have at home, depending on what makeup your parents have at home, you can try it out or you can have your parents do it for you. So I'm gonna go through this old age, make yourself look like a grandma or a grandpa. Here we go. Okay, so the first step is to use some liquid latex. I use Alcone Flesh Color Liquid Latex, which you can find in most Halloween stores or online. You want to put a little bit in a cup and use a triangle sponge to stipple it on your face. Uh, you can squint your face up a little bit and make sure you get it all over your forehead, your cheeks, your nose. This is not a requirement. You can skip this part if you don't have liquid latex, but I think it gives a really cool texturized look and looks like you've been around for a long time. So I like to use it for my old age makeup. The next step is to wait till it dries. You can use a, a hair dryer if that helps to make sure it's nice and dry. And then you can use your finger to peel it a little bit and really stretch out that latex so it has a really cool wrinkly look. The next thing you wanna do is use some translucent clear powder to set the latex. When you powder latex, it stops it from sticking on itself. So we always have to powder our latex. Next, I'm applying a little bit of castor sealer, which is a thin layer of oil that helps set everything in place and really helps with adding the makeup later on so the colors really pop out. You can use something simple like Vaseline as well if you have that at home. Next, we're going to add some foundation. I use Ben Nye Natural Beige, which is pretty close to my skin tone. Sometimes I do like to go lighter with old age makeup. So keep in mind, I'm using a cream foundation. I use Ben Nye products. I think they are the highest quality for this kind of special effects makeup. Next up, I have the Ben Nye Character Shadow, which is a brown, also a cream color. We're going to use a lot of this today, so keep that close by. So we're going to get a little bit of that on a sponge and then put some on our cheeks, our temples, our forehead, and our eyes. So it looks like a, your face will be a little bit sunken in, you know, as you get older, you, your face will get a little more sunken in, and that's the look we're going for. Now you're going to use some highlight. I use the Ben Nye Ultra Light right next to the brown that you just put up, and then we're going to do some blending in with our fingers. So it really pops out. It really makes that brown sunken in look. Now the fun part. You're going to need a small makeup brush. I use a number two Ben Nye brush for this one. It creates a pretty thin line that you can use. And we're gonna go back to that character shadow, that brown that we used earlier. So you're gonna get a little bit on your brush, not too much. And we're gonna squint your face. And if you have wrinkles, you're just gonna follow along the wrinkles on your forehead, starting in the middle and pushing it out to the outside of your face. So go ahead and follow all the wrinkles. If you don't have wrinkles, you can make them up. You know, as we get older, we start getting those wrinkles on our face. And then you can do some above your eyebrow. You can move on to the eyes as well. Wherever you might think there's a wrinkle, we'll find it on your face. So here it is, the cheeks. You can do some around the chin as well and the eyes. You can follow the natural line under your eyes and then I like to create another little bit of a bigger one just to give it that older look. After that we're going to take our highlight and do the same thing but now you're going to go under that brown line, under the shadow. So right under it, connecting to it, you want to put your highlight on every wrinkle you just did on your face. After you've done that, we're going to start blending everything in. So what you want to do is, with the highlight, you want to blend it down. 
and with the shadow, you want to blend it up. So you're blending them away from each other. I do like to take a clean brush sometimes to help blend everything in, but your fingers work too, that's fine. Just make sure everything looks nicely blended in, but not too much, you know, you still want the lines to show. We're going with a bigger old age look here, more of a, something you see on a, on a theater stage as opposed to in front of a camera. Now you can do the same process with your lips, just several lines throughout your lips to give it that wrinkly, wrinkly look. What I like to do next is take a stipple sponge and use some of that character brown and the highlight and put little spots on your face in, you know, random places, but it gives that really cool texturized and, and damaged look. So I like to do that. It looks like almost like you're putting little dots on your face. I did put some of the character brown around my eyes as well to make it a little more sunken in. And you can use some blush to give yourself some rosy cheeks as well. Next up we're working on the nose. You can use that same character brown to thin out your nose a little bit. You put the brown on the outside and the highlight in the middle. And it gives that really cool effect of a nose that's a little thinner. As you get older your nose might thin up a little bit. And then you just go over details, you know, you want the lines to show up. I did some lines around my lips as well. I made the lines stronger around my chin. If you feel like the lines are disappearing a little bit, it's okay to go over and, and make them a little darker as well. That's what I'm doing here. After you're happy with how everything looks and everything is blended in, we're going to bring back the powder again, that white translucent powder, and get it all over the face. This is really going to set everything in. And make sure nothing melts off as you're off trick-or-treating around the neighborhood. Our final step is to use some Ben Nye Snow White hair color. I put it with a little brush all around my eyebrows and my temples and my hair. I'm not going to do the full hair because I'm going to be wearing a hat. But you put some of that Snow White hair color in and then you can use a comb or a brush to get everything ready to go. And so here's your finished look for your friendly neighborhood grandpa. If you do try this look at home, send us your pictures on Instagram at agkidsnyc. And if you have any requests for the next makeup segment, do let us know because I'm always up for a challenge. See you real soon! How do you work this thing? <laughs> Jennifer, I'm trying to call the grandkids. I can't, I don't know how Zoom works. Can you hear me? <laughs> Hello?